one. So we're back with another SAT math video. This one says number A is 70% less than the positive number B. The number C is 60% greater than A. And the number C is how many times of B? So we got 2% changes here, 70% less than, which really is you can treat the same thing as a 70% decrease. And 60% greater than, you can treat that as 60% increase. And so whenever we have these percentage values, we can use the percent multiplier. So 1 plus R or percent over 100. And so here we can insert 70% less. So R here would just be negative 70. So we'd ultimately get uh, 1 plus negative 70 over 100. And so this will give us a value of 0 0.3. All right, so that is essentially your percent multiplier. So we know that the number A is 70% less than the positive number B. So if we call B here, let's just refer to it as X, we can just call this 0.3 X, all right? So 0.3 times X is equivalent to the value of A. The next part says the number C is 60% greater than A, all right? We're gonna use the same percent multiplier equation. So you got one plus R, our R value is a 60% positive increase, so 60 over 100. So we know our percent multiplier is 1.6, all right? So this percent multiplier of 1.6 is being applied to the value of A. We know the value of A is 0.3x. So just by simple substitution, we get 1.6 times 0.3 times x, all right? And it asks the number C is how many times B, right? Well, it's a pretty simple question here because we know x is the same thing as b, so we just have to find out how this percent multiplier affects that one. So 1 1.6 times 0 0.3 gives us a value of 0 0.48. All right, so 0 0.48b is equivalent to the value of c. So when I ask the number c is how many times a b, well, we have it right here. It is 0 0.48 times of B. Be sure to check out our other SAT math videos and good luck on your SAT.